Book 72 of prosperityandsalvation.com Welcome my friends, my siblings, the peoples of the world, all of such ability and attainment, yet so fragile. My friends, in the United Nations and Security Council, how do we go forth in this year 2012? But first, I wish to sing again my refrain. With me. O oh, living world, O oh, troubled world, Give us understanding. And again. O oh, living world, O oh, troubled world, Give us understanding. Man is God, man is conscious, Blessed be the Creator. My friends, I am here to give you understanding. Our leaders are men of greatness and accomplishments, men of power, but power gives to the individual a sense of euphoria which enables him to make light of decisions which can cause world disaster. Look at the brinkmanship and banter. Rocket missiles placed in Europe from the Western Bloc and the Eastern Bloc responding by saying, take them away and we will reduce our atomic pile directed towards you. Another example is the sensitive issue with Israel, Iran and Palestine. All brother states. But Israel backed by the Western Bloc and Iran by the East. Again, the great powers using their manipulative ability to cause distress far from their own homeland. My friends, Israel, Iran and Palestine you must buck the trend and not act as pawns in this magnificent world but driven over billions of years by man's conquering skills. These skills are inherent in the DNA or double helix of the 1% of the population. They are born superior, but reaching a peak where only our extinction remains. Only our adoption of a messianic era can save us. I ask members of the Security Council in the United Nations and all member states in the United Nations to take heed. Leaders of Israel and Iran and Palestine, blood brothers, 
for the sake of our survival, muck the trend. Meet together for the sake of the whole of mankind. Meet together, I ask you, in Jerusalem or Tehran. Discuss peace. I stand between Moses and Charles Darwin, representing the 99% of the world population of Anne Franks, Spinozas, Schweitzers, Gandhis, and the might of Muslims, Christians, Hindus, Buddhists and Jews and all other religions and atheists and agnostics. The superiority of the 1% would seem to be unassailable, but it is only a minute part of the DNA on the double helix which drives them. Sense must prevail to control that minute part. The meeting of Israel and Iran and Palestine and the establishment of brotherhood between the three is that sense. Israel, Palestine and Iran join together in peace and harmony for the sake of our civilization and the entering into the configuration for the sake of the supreme being the configuration configurations and the dimensions show the people of the world your capacity in that homo sapiens sapiens is here to lead the way into the configuration and beyond. My friends, Israel, Iran and Palestine, Shalom, Salam. We can make it together for the sake of our common ancestry. Show the world peace. No armies. No reliance on oil. but light and gravity and spaceships. My friends, my disciples, who are the advisors, plus the musician with the ukulele banjo, the comedian, and acrobats and the boys in blue from the United Nations establish sense log on log on and sing along prosperity and salvation dot com